Hello guys, I'm Kanna Ken watching Ready Steady Eat. Today I'm going to show you how to make garlic chutney or lesun chutney. It is a famous hot and spicy Maharashtrian chutney. This chutney can accompany you in any kind of meal. It goes very well with vada pav, but if you want you can use this chutney in your regular vegetables and curries to enhance its flavor. So let's see what all you need for this. Half a teaspoon of cumin seed, half a teaspoon of coriander seeds, 100 to 150 grams of cloves of garlic, 10 to 12 whole red chilies soaked in water for at least 1 to 2 hours, 2 to 3 teaspoons of red chili powder. 2 tablespoons of shredded coconut 1 tablespoon of oil some water 1 teaspoon of fresh lime juice salt to taste some roasted sesame seed to garnish first heat a wok and now put oil in a wok now when you see once the oil is hot add cumin seeds to it and give it a stir and when the cumin seeds starts crackling now is the time to add coriander seeds to it give it a toss for a few seconds and then immediately add garlic to it Keep stirring it. It has started changing its color. This way, little golden brown. Now add whole red chilies to it. Just remove the excess water from the whole red chilies and give it a stir fry. Here I'm using whole dry red chilies which I have soaked in water. Keep stirring it until all the red chilies are fried nicely in the oil. This will take around one minute. While tossing this, you can feel the aroma of the red chili and the garlic in your house, and it is really amazing for all the garlic lovers. Now is the time to add salt to it. Red chili powder. Again I'm using 2 to 3 teaspoons of red chili powder if if you want you can add more or less depending how much spicy you want and coconut give it a quick toss and close the flame before the dry red chili powder starts burning now let the mixture cool down a little to the room temperature and now we are going to blend it in a mixer now add just enough water to make a smooth paste consistency now once you see when all the things are properly blended in a mixer this way to make a smooth consistency now is the time to add lime juice to it and again stir it now our garlic chutney is ready to serve i'm sprinkling some roasted sesame seeds on top this is my personal favorite if you want you can opt it but if you want you can eliminate it also i'm sure you like my recipe do try it and let me know how it turned out in the comment section below now this one is a must try recipe for all the garlic lovers also hit the like button and do subscribe to ready steady eat for more such lovely and spicy recipes it's me kana saying bye bye